Parabolus! Parabolus! I'm here, Gingrenich. Here. Here. I'm here, Gingrenich. There you are. How uh, did the budget meeting go? Ooh, about as expected. They didn't withdraw all my funding, did they? They wouldn't eliminate uh, such... The cosmic endowment's been cut by 90%. Universe building is considered non-essential. <laughs> it's over. It's history. Pack it up. They're canceling the universes? Why one of my universes? What is it, bad ratings? What they said is, too expensive to maintain. Not enough return on investment. But they're thinking in the short term. Creating these universes is an investment. Oh, I told them that. I told them how these universes spawn ideas and cross-pollinate and artistic merit and blah blah blah. <laughs> and they said, unless you can demonstrate some sort of infinite redeeming value to the universe exhibit, all funding will be revoked effective immediately. So you think if I were to take a good look around and find something of infinite redeeming value, they might reconsider? Like what? DNA? <laughs> Saran wrap? <laughs> it's just not good enough. Hey, it's over, Parabolus. Right-sizing. That's the word of the day. Well, a swell and wealthy relative of mine had up and died, and I received a hundred thousand from the will. So a friend and I decided to convert this into liquid form in the middle of our summer. So we started in the city, had a drink in every shitty little gin mill. That's really quite a few. And then a cabbie up in Harlem took us clear across the river into Brooklyn, where he joined us in a food. Now he was weaving just a trifle by the time we hit Astoria at 80 miles an hour in reverse. But that was nothing to the weaving that we did as we was leaving, and from time to time it got a little worse. Well, there's nothing like drinking up a windfall, baby. We were drunker than a market with a skin full. So goddamn drunk it was sent for. And I believe I ain't sober yet. Oh, poor me, buddy. Callahan's place is real. I'm not allowed to tell you the exact address, since the owner, Mike Callahan, doesn't want that kind of publicity. And neither does my friend Spider Robinson, the guy who writes down the stories I tell him about Callahan's. But I'll tell you this much. It exists in our universe, in the outer arm of our spiral galaxy, the Milky Way. It's on an island just off the coast of North America, Long Island, on Route 25A in Suffolk County. From there on, you're on your own. But the way most people find Callahan's is, well, they just sort of find it when they really need to. Like the night this guy walks into the bar. I should tell you right now that I'm not a detective. I'm not a spy. I'm not a leader of the Rebel Alliance, and I don't run down quarters shooting everything in sight, although I know some otherwise very nice people who do. I'm a folk singer. Yeah, that's right, a folk singer. Now, I know it sounds glamorous and obviously fraught with life-threatening situations and heart-stopping peril but try to keep up with me anyway. I spend a lot of time at Callahan's. As a result, you are not the first person to take up temporary residence inside my head. You probably won't be the last. A few of us are accomplished psychics, and the rest of us are trying to learn. Anyway, you'll find out more about Callahan's as the evening goes on. But right now, it's riddle night, and as usual, Doc's supplying the riddles. Pay attention, because if we don't win this contest, we're broke. And if we're broke, the evening's gonna end mighty early. Okay, ten riddles. Everybody know the rules? Does everybody want to know the rules? Or do you want to try to figure it out for yourself? Okay, I'll be brief. And if you have any questions later on, ask Mike. He'll tell you whatever you want to know. In brief then, ten answers. They're all names and they're all in the same category of names like movie titles or famous MCs, but it's neither of those. Each riddle is a series of words. All you have to do is think of other words that mean the same thing. You put the other words together, say them all together, and you get a name of something. That name is the answer. For instance, if the riddle says Christmas song, thorn, web, you'd think of words that mean the same thing. Christmas song could be carol, thorn could be burr, Webb could be Nat. Raymond Burr, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, Carol Burnett, okay? Ten of those just like that one. Just that easy, right? Right. Of course, winner gets his or her bar tab refunded. All right, go. Is there a time limit? No, there's no time limit. Go. Does spelling count? No, ask Mike if you have any other questions. Now go. Yes? You're new to Callahan's, aren't you? I'm just here for a drink. But you haven't been in before. Yes, I mean, you're right. I haven't been in before. I'm Jake. I'm one of the regulars. You have any questions, you feel free, okay? Mike runs things a little differently around here than in most places. He does? Well, you should probably just keep your eyes open. Something will happen tonight. Thank you. I will. Jake. Michael Finn, how the hell are you? Not too shabby. You? Tolerable well, thank you. Jake. Mike, good to see you. What's up? How's Sally? She asked about you the other day. Really? Yep. Hadn't seen you in the place in a while. Wanted to know if you'd met somebody. Tell her not to worry. It's business, not pleasure. I mean, it's a lack of business and therefore a lack of pleasure. Wondered when you'd get around to saying hi. Oh yeah, I'm being real antisocial tonight. How's business? Slow. You'd think bombs were out of style. Just as well. I'm getting old. I lost a long drink. He's never gonna let me forget it. Give yourself a break. He's an iron man. Always used to be able to beat him. Not anymore. So, why's it been so quiet at work? Got me. I mean, it's great. You know, it's hard to complain about lack of business. But it doesn't feel right, you know. It's not natural. Maybe the war on drugs is having an effect. This is Zilch. A pleasure to meet you, uh, Dizzigluck. Zilch. Slatch. I apologize. Presently, my command to 
category of English speech is fractional presently. I attempt improvement. You may call me as squishing noise. Well, how about just squish for short? Squish? Zooteth full. squishy good. Hey, Jake. What's going on? Nothing. It's been real quiet. Wanna grab Lady Macbeth and liven up the joint? Maybe later, okay? Yeah, okay. You participating in Riddle Night? Yeah, not really. Glanced at it. Offhand could only get one clue, so... Which one? E. The four-sharp major key. It's E. Hello. <laughs> Well, if it isn't Jake Stonebender, the Bard of Queens. I don't live in Queens. Yeah, but the Bard of Hicksville doesn't cut it. I don't live in Hicksville either. That's your opinion. I've been there, and I'm telling you, you live in Hicksville, man. I think I've got a riddle answer for you. You think so, huh? Let's go see. Yes? Want to help me out with one of these riddles? I've been looking at them. I don't think I'm very good at them. I can't get a single one. If you don't know how to play, Mike's got a whole spiel. He can reel it off for you in about 10 seconds. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 